steady as she goes. Windward ho! A ship! Hey, to the starboard he rolls. Brave sailor, beware, cause I'm beginning to prove in mysterious fathoms below. Fathoms below, below, from whence wayward westerlies blow. Where Triton is king and his bird people sing in mysterious fathoms below. Isn't this perfection, Grimsby? Out here where the seas meet the skies, surrounded by nothing but water. Oh, yes, it's simply <laughs> delight. The salt on your skin and the wind in your hair and the waves as they ebb and they flow. We're miles from the shore and guess what? I don't care. As for me, I'm about to heap. <laughs> to I'll sing you, you a song of the king of the sea And it's hey to the starboard heave ho The ruler of all of the oceans is he In mysterious fathoms below King of the sea? Why that's not school nonsense Nothing but superstition King of the ocean gets angry When he gets angry beware I'm telling you lad When King Triton is mad How the waves will buck when throw oh, on good luck as down you go What is that? Do you hear something? My lord, please, enough seafaring. You've got to get back to court to honor your father's dying wish and take up his crown. Well suppose I don't want his crown. You'd forsake his kingdom and his treasures? Treasures? But you mean like this? Who needs it? We drink straight out of the bottle, don't we, boys? Yeah! This. Not when we've got the sun and the moon to light our way. Yeah! This. No thanks. I'd rather eat with my bare hands. Yeah! You're a prince, sire, not a common sailor. These men are anything but common. They're free, Grimsby. Truly free. They don't have to answer to anyone but the sea. I'd rather be a sailor than a prince any day. This is where I belong. Everything seems more real here. Strange how at home I feel here in the tides. Swift moan. And when the pull is strong, I almost think I hear the sea. Wild and Should not one, Captain. Now follow that voice to the ends of the earth if we have to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's mermaids out there in the bottomless blue, and it's hey to the starboard heave ho. Watch out for your lad or you'll go to your ruin in mysterious fathoms below. It's beautiful. Hey, Ariel, wait for me. Oh, Flounder, hurry up. You know I can't swim that fast. Here it is. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah, sure. It's a, uh, it's great. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> You're not getting cold fins now, are you, Flounder? Who, me? No way. It just, uh, it looks a little damp in there. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm coming down with something. You see, I got this cough. <coughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to explore. You can just stay out there and watch for sharks. Okay, you go explore and I'll stay and watch for sharks. Ah! Ariel, help, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, flounder. <laughs> Here, 
Do you really think there could be sharks around here? Flounder, don't be such a guppy. I am not a guppy. This is great. I mean, I really love this. Excitement, adventure, danger lurking around every corner. Ah, Ariel! Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow, cool, but what is it? I don't know. But I bet Scuttle will. What was that? Did you hear something? I wonder what this one is. Ariel! <sighs> Flounder, will you relax? Nothing's going to happen. Ah! Swim! Swim, Ariel! We're gonna die! Swim! Ah! Ariel, we're gonna die! Shark! Swim! Swim, Ariel! Swim for your life! Ah! Swim! <laughs> you big bully! Flounder, you really are a guppy. <laughs> I am not. Oh, Scuttle! Whoa! Mermaid off the port bow! Ariel! How you doing, kid? Whoa! What a swim! Scuttle, look what we found. Yeah, we were in this sunken ship. It was really creepy. More human paraffinicular, huh? Let me see. Oh! This is rare. Redonkulously rare and in sustained oh, condition. Oh, what? What is it? It's a dingle hopper. See, humans use these little babies to uh, straighten their hair out. Just a little twirl here and a, and a yank there, and voila, you got an aesthetically pleasing configuration of hair that humans go nuts over. A dingle hopper. What about that one? Oh, this, this I haven't seen in years. This is a banded, bulbous snuff blat. Ooh. Now, the snuff blat dates back to prehysterical times when humans used to sit around and stare at each other all day. Got very boring. So, they invented the snuff blat to make fine music. Allow me. <laughs> Music. Oh my gosh, the concert! Oh, my father's gonna kill me! The concert was today? Uh, maybe you can make a little planner out of it or something. Oh, Scuttle, I'm so sorry. I've gotta go. Thank you. Anytime, sweetie, anytime. Yes, hurry home, princess. We wouldn't want to miss old daddy's celebration, now would we? Huh? Celebration indeed, or bar. In my days, we had fantastical feasts when I lived in the palace. And now look at me, wasted away to practically nothing, banished and exiled and practically starving, while he and his flimsy fish folk celebrate. Well, I'll give them something to celebrate soon enough. Blatter. Jetta, keep an extra close watch on that pretty little daughter of his. She may be the key to Triton's undoing. Royal Highness King Triton. Benevolent merfolk, creatures of the deep, today marks a tremendous occasion. For on this fateful day, I inherited my father's kingdom and banished the sea witch Ursula forever. And so, it's time to celebrate our victory. In honor of this occasion, allow me to introduce to all of you our Master of Ceremonies. The distinguished court composer, Horatio Theolonus Ignatius Crustaceus Sebastian. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. 
I am really looking forward to this performance, Sebastian. Oh, your majesty, this will be the finest concert I've ever conducted. Your daughters, they'll be spectacular. Yes, and especially Milo to Ariel. Oh, Ariel, your youngest, such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such magnificent sounds since, well, since her royal highness. May she rest in peace. You're gonna be a proud papa. You'll see. If only she'd show up to rehearsals every once in a while. <laughs> Let the merriment begin. <laughs> Are the daughters of Triton, great father who loves us and named us well. Aquanta, Arista, Athena, Alana, and Ariel. In concert we hold to enlighten the hearts of the merfolk with music swell. Aquata. Again, child. Ariel, where? In the name of Poseidon, has that sister of yours gone? Apologies, sire, but that girl, she's gonna be the death of me swimming when she should be singing. If I had that solo, this would never have happened. Yeah, that girl is angling for trouble. I say, give her the hook. <laughs> Fish puns? Aren't we better than that? Honestly, Daddy, you let Ariel get away with now, now, I love all my daughters equally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. That answers as canned as tuna and twice as oily. Arista's <laughs> <laughs> prettier than Ariel. Oh. <laughs> and oh. Joanna's smarter. <laughs> Alana's sweeter. <laughs> Atina's older <laughs> and Adela well let's face it daddy you're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get oh. <laughs> and what have you got that Ariel doesn't naked ambition and a willingness to kill one son Sebastian would that be too much to hope for I just don't know what we're going to do with you, young lady. Daddy, I'm sorry. I As a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior. The entire celebration was... Well, it was ruined, that's all. Completely destroyed. This concert is going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. And now, thanks to you, I'm the laughingstock of the entire kingdom. <gasps> Ariel, please. You've been given such a gift. I know. My mother's voice. It requires stewardship and care. So please, for the sake of her memory. Daddy, I will. I promise. But it wasn't her fault. At first, the shark chased us. Yeah, yeah. And then we almost didn't get away. But then we did. And then the seagull came in. This was this seagull. and that was that. You went up to the surface again, didn't you? Didn't you? Uh, nothing happened. How but... many times must we go through this aerial? You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. By, by one of those humans. Oh, Daddy, they're not barbarians. They are dangerous. Do you think I want to see you snared by some fish eaters hook? I'm 16 years old. I'm Don't not a child. Take that tone of voice, young lady. As long as you live under my roof, you obey my rules. But if you would just listen to not me. Not another word. And I am never, never to hear of you going up to the surface again. Is that clear? <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> They think they know everything. Uh, give them an inch, they'll, they'll swim all over you. I can govern a kingdom, but 
can't control my own daughter. Do you think God was too hard on her? She needs a mother, Sebastian. And so do I. If only she were here to know just what to say. She'd firmly and yet gently help the girl to fight her way. She'd know what to forbid and what we must allow. She'd have the strength and patience that I lack somehow. All that I would give to have her back. Right. Now, now, your majesty. It's hard, sure, but you got to toughen up, not milk down. For Ariel's sake. Why, well, if Ariel were my daughter, I'd show her who's boss. None of this flitting to the surface and other such nonsense. No, sir. I'd keep her under tight control. You're absolutely right, Sebastian. Of course. Ariel needs constant supervision. Constant. Someone to watch over her every move. For every dog battle. For every side shirt. For every dive. Someone to watch over her to keep her safe. All the time. And you are just the crap to do it. But, oh, but, but your majesty, she's such a clever mermaid, and I'm, I'm only a crustacean. Surely you want to pick someone higher up on the evolutionary ladder? You heard ladder? me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. How do I keep ending up in these situations? I should be off writing symphonies, not keeping after some headstrong teenager. Singing Triton's praises and cursing your name. Declaring a nap for holiday. Holiday my blowhole. It was the day my brother Triton got greedy, that's all. The day he stole my half of the kingdom. To think your very own flesh and blood. Leading you to a life of shame and unceasing solitude. Casting you into the shadowy depths of a serpent All eyes. right, all right. Don't blow your fuses, boys. It should have been mine. When Daddy Deer was floating on his deathbed, he divvied up the kingdom into two. I got his magic shell and half the sea as well. His trident went to, you know who his trident went to, don't you, baby? My rain white was blissfully delicious and glamour, glitz and style were all corrupt. Did I use some black magic? Well, oopsie, my bad. Did I mutilate his mame and destroy just a tad? And for that I get banished But me, I'm not mad There's just one little thing that I want Just, just one itsy, teensy thing That I want I want the Good times back. I want those grand old days. I want the twisted nights, the sick delights, the wild soirees. I want those trembling crowds of shellfish cracked and peeled for me to dine. Not because I mean or selfish. No. I only want what's mine. I want disgusting wells. I want exquisite sin. Want the entire sea to worship me on bended fin. I want to greet my loving subjects and then have them as a snack. Remember those good times. I want them back. Oh, picture it, my sucklings. Pretty soon we'll be back on top, sipping bubbly, eating caviar before it hatches. King Triton is the only thing that stands in our way. If only I could find his Achilles heel, the 
exhaust quivering under belly beneath all that armor. <laughs> I'll dethrone him. Why didn't I think of it before? His youngest, the one with the beautiful voice. Which she takes for granted. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until she's been silent. Ha! Perhaps we can teach them both a lesson. I want the little girl. Ooh. And boys, I want her bad. I want her sitting here to lure her dear devoted dad. Mm. I want my goody goody brother to come rescue her, the sap, and then one way or another, surprise. I'll spring the trap. I could make my father understand. I just, I just don't see things the way he does. I don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? Treasures untold. How many wonders can one have and hold? Looking around here, you'd think, sure, <laughs> she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Oh, I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. Walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't fall too far. Legs are required. 
word for jumping, dancing, strolling along down a, what's the word again? Street, up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free, wish I could be part of that world. young women sick of swimming ready to stand and ready to know what the people know ask them my questions and get some answers what's a fire and why is it what's the word Sebastian! <laughs> Peria, what is all this? It's just my uh, collection. I, oh, I see, your collection. Mm. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, if your father knew about this place... You're not going to tell him, are you? Please, Sebastian, he would never understand. Listen, Ariel. For my sake, as well as your own, you've got to keep your mind on your music. Oh, come on. You're under a lot of pressure down here. We'll take you home, get you something warm to drink, and... I mean, what do you suppose? A ship? Sure, a nice heart made out of driftwood, mother of pearl, and... Ariel? Ariel! Come on! But what you doing, huh, Max? Come here, bud. Oh, good boy. Hey there, sweetie. Quite a show, huh? Scott will be quiet. They'll hear you. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. We're big and trepidatious. We're out to discover. I've never seen a human this close before. He's quite handsome, isn't he? I don't know. He looks kind of heavy and slobbery to me. <laughs> Not that one, the other one. Silence, silence. It is now my honor and privilege to present our esteemed Prince Eric with a very special, very expensive, very large birthday present. Crimsby, your beanpole you shouldn't have. I know. Happy birthday, Eric. Oh. Uh, gee, Grim. It's really something. Yes, I commissioned it myself. Of course, I'd hoped it'd been a wedding present, but... Oh, come on, Grim, don't start. Look, you're not so sore because I didn't fall for the Princess of Glarhaven, are you? Eric, it isn't me alone. The entire kingdom wants to see you settle down with the right girl. Our kingdom needs a queen. Have you ever tried to take a princess sailing? It's a joke. Their crinolines get caught in the rigging in. Hey, most of them don't even know how to swim. Swim, <laughs> sire? Is that a prerequisite? Well, sure, if we go sailing. Where am I going to find her, Grimsby? A girl who's as carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? Well, what do you know? Shh. Oh, 
Well, she's out there somewhere. I just haven't found her yet. Well, perhaps you haven't been looking hard enough. Now, trust me, Grimsby. When I find her, I'll know without a doubt. It'll just bam hit me like lightning. Hurricanes are coming! Stand fast! Whoa. Secure the rigging! Whoa! The wind blows the sense on the boat here! I got you. No, Max. Max, no, I got you. I'm coming. Eric, Grimsby. Eric, no, Grimsby. Come on. Is he dead? Hard to say. I... I can't make out a heartbeat. No, no, look! He's breathing. Oh, Scuttle, just look at him. He's so... Away, you filthy bird! <coughs> Eric, oh Eric, you really delight in these sadistic strains of my bloodstream. Uh, a, a girl re rescued me. She, she, she was singing. She, she had the most beautiful voice. I think you swallowed a bit too much seawater. <coughs> Come on, uh, let's go, Max. No, you, you have to believe me. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. No, please, she... She was real. Yes, of course she was. As real as a siren. <laughs> as real as a mermaid on the shore. Come on, you need help. We just got to forget this whole thing ever happened. You don't tell him. I won't tell him. I'll stay in one piece. <laughs> Any human, a prince. Oh, daddy, love that. King Triton's headstrong, lovesick girl would make a charming addition to my little garden. <laughs> Where she's going, she 
wiggles like a fool. She barely sticks a toe in down at the tidal pool. It's more than just a face, face it. She's just not herself. Is she L or T? Is it water on the brain? What has got her father so? That sister of yours, gosh, she's slippery <laughs> as an eel. I go behind her for her daddy goes looking. Good luck. She's in La La Land. <laughs> that girl has fallen head over tails in love. <laughs> love? Oh, Ariel, what's it all around you, child? And you still got to play with fire. <laughs> Good morning, girls. <laughs> Hello, honey. So, uh, where's Ariel? She's got it bad. <laughs> <laughs> what has she got? Oh, isn't it obvious, Daddy? Ariel's in love. Ariel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In love? <laughs> huh. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go? Where can she be? she come again calling to me calling to me calling to me somewhere there's a girl who's like the shimmer of the wind upon the water somewhere there's a girl who's like the glimmer of the sunlight on the sea Somewhere there's a girl who's like the swell of Andrew's music. Somewhere she is singing and her song is meant for me. And her voice is sweet as 
Her, Grimsby. I have an idea. On the eve of your birthday, we'll host a marvelous ball. We'll invite countless eligible young ladies from far and wide to sing for you. What? A contest. What better way to find your mysterious voice? We'll have you married by sunset on that very day. Yes, why? Yes, that's how we'll find her. Indeed, we shall. Have my word. Out there somewhere. I just know. I can sense her laughter in the ripple of the waves against the shoreline. I can see her smiling in the moonlight that settles on the sand. I can feel her waiting just beyond the pale horizon. Singing out a melody to to withstand And her voice Is there as dusk is falling And her voice Is there as dawn Steals by You're in sight It's always near All day, all night And still I hear but it won't be easy keeping something like this a secret for long. He loves me, and he loves me not. <gasps> he loves me! <laughs> I knew it! Ariel, there you are. Oh, a human. You had to fall in love with a human. I didn't choose it. It just happened. Oh, child. I thought maybe, just maybe, you'd be happy for me. Happy for you. Happy? Ariel, stop talking crazy. I need to see him again. Uh, tonight, Scuttle knows where he lives. Ariel, please. I'll swim up to his castle, then Flounder will splash around to get his attention. <laughs> and Ariel, then you have to get your head out the clouds and back in the water it belongs. Down here is your home. The human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. <laughs> Sebastian, you're wrong. It's fair. Believe me, child, it's true. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Sing it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Up to the sun, they slave away. While we devoted, oh, yeah, no, 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 under the sea. Down here, all the fish is happy. As of Judah, we stay home. The fish 
To the floor. Sebastian, Sebastian, I have an urgent message from the Sea King. The Sea King? Something about Ariel. He knows. <laughs> Did you notice that hunk looking over at Ariel I just now? <laughs> what if that's him? I heard from my friend's cousin's neighbor that he has a thing for her. <gasps> Ew, oh. not a chance. He's so out of her league. Uh, oh, please, like you're any better? Girls! <laughs> We're better than this? If you ask me, it looked like she was making fish eyes at that snail. <laughs> <laughs> or that seahorse. <laughs> no, 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 the shark. You are human. 
I wonder who the lucky merman could be. Hmm. Ah, come in, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. I mustn't overreact. I must stay calm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yes, your majesty. Now, Sebastian, I'm concerned about Ariel. Have you noticed she's been acting, um, peculiar lately? Peculiar? You know, moaning about, daydreaming, singing to herself. You haven't noticed, hmm? Well, I... Sebastian, hmm? I know you've been keeping something from me. Keeping something? About uh, Ariel? Ariel? In love? Oh, your majesty, I tried to warn her. I told her humans were trouble. They are nothing but bad humans. News. What about humans? Oh, oh, who said anything about humans? Where is she hiding? <sighs> if only I knew. She keeps secrets from me, Sebastian, but not from you. I reckon you know where she is. Now take me to her. his eyes. Oh. Oh. Why, Eric, run away with you? Oh. <laughs> this is all so, so sudden. Daddy! I, s I set certain rules, and I expect those rules to be obeyed. Is it true you rescued a human from drowning? Oh, Daddy, I had to. Contact between the human world and the mer world is strictly forbidden. Everyone knows that. Ariel, you know that. He would have died. One less human to worry about. You don't even know him. Know him? I don't even know him. They're all the same. Spineless, savage, harpooning fish eaters. Incapable of any Daddy, feeling. Daddy, I... Daddy, I love him. No. Have you lost your senses completely? He's a human. You're a mermaid. Did you forget what they did to your mother? We don't know for certain. Can there be any doubt? She slips off one morning for an innocent swim and never returns. We can't prove that I that know it in my heart. And that's enough. Murderers. All of them. You can't blame all humans for a few wicked ones. So help me, Ariel. I'm going to get through to you. And this is the only way. So be it. What? No! No, no, stop! No, Daddy, please! No, no, please, stop! No, no! Ariel, Ariel, I'm so sorry. You ruined my day. My human stuff. If he really and truly loved me, then Child, he'd it's never... because he loves you. That sure has a funny way of showing it. When you, some friend you turned out to be, bringing him here to my secret place. Just get out. Ariel, I pray you wake up from this madness. And soon, you're swimming in some dangerous waters. a very serious problem. If only there were something we could do. But there is something. <laughs> Who are you two? Sweet child. Poor child. So tragic. 
yourself. It was only a suggestion. Wait. Yes? Take me to her. It was an accident. I, I didn't mean to. Ariel, what are you doing? Where are you going with this riffraff? I'm going to see Ursula. Ariel, Ariel, no, you can't. She's a demon. She's a monster. Well, why don't you go tell my father? Hmm? You're good at that. Come on. <laughs> This way. Oh, mistress of the deep, you are visitor. Come in, come in, my child. We mustn't lurk in doorways. It's rude. One might question your upbringing. Oh, don't be shy, Ariel, darling. It's me, your Auntie Ursula. Father says you're wicked and hateful. Mm, yes, but he does say the same things of humans now, doesn't he, Snookums? And we both know that's not true. Now then, you're here because you have a thing for a human, this um, prince fellow. Not that I blame you. He is quite the catch, isn't he? Well, angelfish, the solution to your problem is simple. The only way to get what you want is to become a human yourself. You can do that? <laughs> My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for, to help unfortunate folk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light and made a switch. True, yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, the lonely, and depressed. Pathetic. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my 
my college and growing spells. Ursula, please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the court. Yes, I've had the odd complaint. But on the whole, I've been a suit. Do those more important songs. Here's my best offer, babykins. I know a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Now it's got a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. And that is, he's got to kiss you. And not just any kiss, the kiss of true love. If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you'll remain human permanently. And if I don't? Nothing drastic, darling, I'm sure. Oh, look, small print. You turn back into a mermaid, you're doomed to spend an eternity in my watery layer of gloom, and you belong to me. Ariel, Ariel, no, you can't. Have we got a deal? If I become oh. human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. You know, you can't get something for nothing, you know. Oh, but I don't have anything. I'm not asking for much. Just a token, really a trifle. You'll never even miss it. What I want from you is your voice. My voice? You've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, sip. And don't worry, I have the perfect place for it. Your vibrato, your legato, even your belt. The law be safe and sound. Without my voice, how oh, you have I... your looks, your pretty face. And don't underestimate the power of body language. The men out there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yet on then it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on! All that impressed with conversation, true gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't and swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets the man. Come on, you so Make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice. You pour If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath. Go ahead and sign the scroll. Flotsam, jetsam, now I've got a voice. The boss is on the move. You pour on what you need. So about it, Cupcake? Do you want Princey Boo or not? Five, four, three, two... Yes! Yes, uh, I'll do it! Where do I sign? Not just any ink, darling. Use mine. Beluga, Sambruga, cup winds of the Caspian Sea. Larynxis, glycitis, at max laryngitis, lavotte to me. Now sing, sing your voice over to me. Now swim, swim, 
There will now be a 15-minute intermission. Don't forget to check out our silent auctions we have going on. There's a lot of really good stuff out there. All the proceeds are going to go to our drama club. Thank you all for coming out this evening.
that voice. I, I can't get it out of my head. I've looked everywhere, Max. Where could she be? Max? Uh, hey, Max, where'd you go, bud? Max, here, boy. Max? Oh, there you are, buddy. <laughs> ah! Abigail? Well, look at ya. Look what the cat just dragged in. Oh, something different. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's your hairdo, right? You've been using the dingle hopper, right? Right? No, no. Uh, no seashell? No new seashell. Well, I can't put my foot on it now, but I know if I stand She's got here legs, you idiot. She traded her voice to oh. the sea witch and got legs. Jeez, mum. No, not your beautiful pipes. You see? Not a sound. Oh, kid, it hurts me to say it, but that, that was a lousy swap. She's got just three days. Three days to what? She's got to make the prince fall in love with her, and he has to kiss her. And look at her. On legs. On human legs. My nerves are shot. This is a catastrophe. What would her father say? I tell you what her father say. He'd say he's going to kill himself. A crab, that's what he'd say. Oh, my God. We need to take you back to the king. Maybe he can do something about this. Or, or better yet, maybe the, the sea witch. She can give you back your fin, and then you go back with all the normal fish and, and be miserable the rest of your life. All right. We'll help you find that prince. Boy, what a soft shell I'm turning out to be. Now, Ariel, if you want to be a human, the first thing you got to do is dress like one. Oh, allow me. Hold this for me. Wrap it around like so. And there you go, kid. You look great. You look spectacular. Okay, now, if you want to snare that prince, you've got to learn a graceful way of perambulating. Oh, she will do no such thing. Ah, sure she will. Uh, come on now, upsy daisy. What's this? You giving up so soon? That's not like you. You gotta have a little gumption. Yeah, yeah, a, a can-do kind of attitude. Take it from a gull who knows. Now look at me, you see this face. In terms of beauty, I'm a basket case. And as for style and step up farewell, I guess there ain't a whole lot there. Yes, although perhaps it makes no sense. I strut my stuff with lots of confidence. Cause though I lack an awful lot, there is one thing I got. I got positivity. I got positivity. It gets me the Sam and the Sal and the Adel, Adel, Adel. That's why I walk with a wiggle in my waddle. Cause once you've heard that word, there ain't nothing you can't do. So let that positivity work for you. Positivity. There's no such word. Ah, sure is. It's in the dictionary, right between popsuckle and prehistorical. Believe you me, I've seen the work of miracles. See, with the bip and the bop and the bop bop boo, you can flip any flap till your wish comes true. The tip is the tap into something that you believe. See, with the zig and the zag and the zigs and zigs, there ain't nothing you can't be. You see, it's really your prerogative. You simply can't think negative. Then there's you just sitting there, smack down flat upon your dairy, yeah. If that's the way you want to be, well, you might as well be shrubbery. So stand right up and dust your seat and walk real tall on your own two feet. And sure, you'll trip and make mistakes, but you've got what it takes. Whew.
know that way. There ain't nothing you can't do. So go get some positivity. You can bet on positivity. Now just let that positivity and positivity and put the economy and the what is it? Positively work for you. Max. Huh? Max. Max. Quiet, Max. Max, what's gotten into you, fella? Oh, I see. Good boy, Max. Uh, <coughs> Are you okay, miss? I'm sorry if this little knucklehead scared you. I mean, he's harmless. He... Oh, my, you, you seem very familiar to me. Have, have we met? Whoa, we have met. I knew it, you're the one, the one I've been looking for. What's your name? What is it? What's wrong? You can't speak? Well, then you couldn't be who I thought. I'm sorry. I... Well, what? Uh, you're hurt. No, 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 no. Uh, you, you need help? I, I'm sorry. I don't understand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. Easy. Gee, you must have really been through something. Well, hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Uh, come on. Come on. The castle isn't far. I know just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on. Just uh, right this way. <laughs> way to go, Aviel. Now that's what I call reeling them in. <laughs> this is gonna get me in some real hot water. Can you believe <sighs> that guy? What a crab. Just in case you haven't heard, there's a thing you can sing like a mockingbird. It's an idea that you see I'll make the world go round. The kids get it, and just look at it now. Oh, Ariel, just think positive, and it'll start to work for you. No, Your Majesty. We searched everywhere. We found no trace of your daughter or Sebastian. Well, keep looking. Yes, sire. What have I done? What have I done? As if the death of my mother wasn't enough. Washed up from the shipwreck. Poor thing. We'll have you feeling better in the morning. I'll just get this wash for you.
strange it seems, somewhere beyond my heart's mysteries. Look at her there, looking around, won't make a sound. Just keeps on gawking. Weird how she's not gawking. Lucky miss, who's like this to see? Just picture the table chat, one sided is even that. Oh, get away. In two short nights, the prince will hold his contest, and young ladies will be singing themselves so, all to win his heart. Tonight, we'll save her some quiet. Reasonable, Eric. Nice young ladies don't just swim around in the ocean rescuing people and then flutter off into the oblivion no, I'm like I'm telling some you, Grim, she was real. Listen, I'm gonna find that girl and I'm gonna marry her. Not this again. Oh, come on, Grimsby, it'll be fine. I have it under control. Not a word of this at dinner. Escago. Lots de bis. Holy mackerel. To sell little fish. First, I cut out the heads and I pull out the bones. I may wish I said to your delish. Les poissons, les poissons. Hee hee hee. Ho ho ho. With a cleaver, I hack them in two. I pull out what's inside and I serve it with the fried. But I love little fishes, don't you? Here's something for tending the palate. Prepare the classic technique. First you brown the fish flat with some mallet. Then you slap the skin with a belly and slice. And you rub some salt in. <laughs> Cause that makes it just nice. Sacre bleu, what is this? How on earth could I miss such a sweet little succulent club? Quel dommage, what a loss. You belong in the sauce with some flour. I sing just not all. There are stones you would break in water. You'll be dead and you'll oh. surely be lucky you are. Cause it's gonna be hot. Oh la 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 la, in my feet, come here, hot. To tell you more poisson. Oh. Au revoir!
Oh, Eric, isn't she a vision? Well, now I'm the one who's left speechless. Oh, come, 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 you must be famished. It's not often that we have such a lovely dinner guest, eh, Eric? <laughs> like it? I can't say I blame you. It's an antique meerschwang from Dusseldorf. So sorry, Grim. Why, Eric, that's the first time I've seen you smile in weeks. Yes, very amusing. Carlotta, my dear, what's for dinner? Oh, you're going to love it. Chef's fixing a specialty, stuffed crab. I think I'd better go see what Louis's up to. And now something truly exquisite. The creme of the creme de la creme. Oh, 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 you may ask, but what is it? It's a tasty surprise, a delectable treat. One I'm sure you'll just love, Ale Bonaparte. I'm so sorry. It'll be okay, Say, Eric, 
Perhaps our young guest might enjoy seeing some of the sights of the kingdom. Something in the <laughs> way of a tour. I'm um, sorry, Grim. What was that? Oh, Eric, you can't spend all of your time moping about. You have to get out and do something. Have a life. Get your mind up. <coughs> uh, you know, it's not a bad idea if she's interested. Well, what do you say? Would you like to join me on a tour of my kingdom tomorrow? Oh, great. Then it's all settled. Wonderful. Now let's eat before this crab wanders off my plate. Oh, appears he's gone. Well, if there's no dinner, I'm off to bed. Good night, Grimsby. Uh, well, just look at the two of us. You know, you're a quiet girl in a busy world, and, well, I'm a prince who'd rather be a common sailor. We're both uh, fish out of water, you and me. Oh, I I'm so sorry. Did, did I say something wrong? Who needs words? Dancing beats small talk any day. Why, sure, it's the way your feet smile or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Let me show you. Dancing is a language that is spelled instead of her. can whisper, sing, or shout without so much as a word. Try it. Go on. Like soul. Oh, hey, it's okay. Just let your emotions tell your body what to do. <laughs> That's it. See how much a single gesture can reveal. And every little step. Every single step is one step closer to saying what you feel. Once the music hits you, inhibitions fall away, and you find that you're expressing things your voice daren't say. Don't be afraid, let go. Soon as you surrender, what's inside will sweep on through. As the boundaries between us disappear And every little step, every single step Is one step closer to talking loud and clear A dance is like a conversation Except you never need to make a sound Says much more than language ever could. And every little step, every single step is one step closer. One step closer. One step closer.
Do you hear that? That's uh, that's the voice. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I I haven't been myself lately. Um, it's after midnight. I should let you get some rest. Good night. This has got to be one of the single most humiliating days of my life. You better appreciate the things I go through for you, young lady. Now, we got to get a plan to get that boy to kiss you. So tomorrow, when you're on that boat with him, you got to look your best. You got to, you got to bat your eyes like this, and and pucker your lips like like this. You're a child. You're hopeless. You know that? Completely hopeless. That was too close for comfort, boys. One night and they're already dining together. Then dancing cheek to cheek. I should have known. There's only one thing more potent than my black magic. The power of true love. No, it can't be. Well, we'll just see about that. She didn't waste much time. The little shameless tease. One sunset's barely through and Prince Poo is on his knees. They'll be smooching by day two boys if she keeps it up like this. So there's just one thing to do, boys. Black. Go up and block that kiss. Yes, you are, wretched. ever dare to join me out here? Too afraid they'd muddy their shoes, but not you. Well, it's peaceful out here, isn't it? Not another living soul for miles and miles. Nothing is happening. They spent all morning on horseback, then a picnic, and now this. And not so much as a peck on the cheek. Huh. Uh, so how about that weather? <laughs> This is going nowhere <laughs> fast. Uh, they better get cracking. Only 24 hours left and poor Abby will... She'll be lost forever. We got to do something. And quick. But what? Uh, we got to create the right kind of mood. Move over. Move your big feathers. I can't see. Oh. This calls for a little vocal romantic stimulation. Allow me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Someone should find that poor animal and put it out of its misery. <laughs> I'm surrounded oh. by amateurs. All right, if you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. You've got to create the right kind of mood. Let's see. Percussion. 
strings. Wind. not knowing your name? Well, maybe I could guess. Um, Mildred. Uh, Diana? Juliana. Eddie L. Her name is Eddie L. Ariel? Ariel? Hey, that's, that's kind of pretty. Okay, Ariel. Better do it soon. Time will be better. She don't say your word and she won't say a word until you kiss the girl. -la 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 -la, don't be scared. We got the mood. Prepare, go on and kiss the girl. was a close one. Too close. Oh, she's better than I thought. At this rate, he'll be kissing her by sunset for sure. Well, it's time Ursula took matters into her own tentacles. <laughs> Triton's daughter will be mine, and then I'll make him right. I'll make him wriggle like a worm on a hook. <laughs> so much for true love. <laughs> Your heart belongs to me! <laughs> Polly put Vanessa, umano rendi me! <laughs> Merciful Triton, I pray you keep Where home. is she? Where is Ariel? She'd be so angry if she knew I were here. I entrust my youngest daughter to you? And what happens? I ought to have you cracked. I ought to have you shelled. He almost was, Your Greatness. You 
ought to be ashamed of yourself too. What kind of tragedy will it take for you to A understand? A tragedy involving the sea witch, to be exact. What did you say? These two eels came, and they took her straight to Ursula. And then she traded her voice for a pair of legs, and if the prince doesn't kiss her... She bartered away her voice to become human? Yes, your majesty. And by sunset tomorrow, that child could be giving away her very soul. Her soul? And all to that wicked sister of yours. It's time I settle things with her once and for all. Eric, if I may say, far better than any dream girl, who's one of flesh and blood, one warm and caring, one right before your very eyes. Thank you, Grimsby. Maybe he's right. Maybe it was in my head all along. Pardon me, young lady. Will you be requiring anything else before bedtime? Very well then, you'd best catch 40 winks. A big day tomorrow, Prince Eric is going to choose his bride. So wonderfully, impossibly familiar Why do I feel dizzy in a way I've only felt but once before How can when she looks at me It seems like time stops moving Almost like the way it did that day upon the shore Sunset tomorrow, that prince will have his pick of any princess in the land. What chance does a little mermaid got against that? If only I knew how I'd make him see the light. If only it were up to me, this all would turn out right. And if I only could, I tell you what I'd do. I'd simply I could and make your dreams come true. And wouldn't that surprise ya if you only knew how could I have pushed her to the point of having no one left to turn to? What if I have lost her and it's all my fault? She's gone. Bye. 
stopped on me. Dear friends, to our contest, the first that our kingdom has ever seen. We gather today for a vocal display so that our prince may at last choose his queen. These six princesses possess the most accomplished voices in all the land. Tonight, one of you shall go home with the crown. May the best woman win. One of these lovely voices matches the one in your heart. I wish I could say yes, but she's not here. Um, her father rules all of Prussia. No. Uh, she's richer than Midas. No. She's one of the triplets, but they're willing to break the set. Oh, no, Grim. You'll be the death of me, boy. The sun has nearly set. Soon your birthday will be over. Perhaps if we steal ourselves and give another listen. Could it be that someone's <laughs> Ariel? Hey, shh, be quiet and listen. Go ahead, Ariel. <laughs> I had so hoped, my dear boy, that you might find love somewhere in this room. Perhaps I have. I've just been too blind to see it. But I just heard every single note clear as a bell. Well, that must mean something, old boy. Perhaps it does. Uh, boy, that, that, that's, that's the voice. I, I, Most unexpected. Get the ship ready to sail. Get married immediately.
I just heard the news. Congratulations, kiddo. We did it. What are you blabbing about? Oh, as if you haven't heard, the whole town's buzzing about the prince getting himself hitched this afternoon. You silly sidewinder. You know, he's getting married. This isn't Ariel he's marrying, you idiot. It's some girl comes to the ball late last night with, with a voice that, that sound like... That sound like... Scuttle? You get to that ship as fast as you can and aye find aye. out who she is. Okay. ship as fast as your fins can carry her. I'll try. I must tell this evening. He has to know. Whoa, 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 whoa. What about me? What about me? Scuttle, you get to that boat and you stall that wedding. Stall oh, the wedding. Stall oh, the wedding. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Come on, everybody. We got an emergency here. Dearly. Don't worry, Ariel. We're almost there. We're gonna make it. Yeah. Do you, Prince Eric, vow to take Vanessa to be your lawfully wedded wife for as long as you shall live? Oh, Get away from me. And do you... Away from me. Yes. Get the away from me, you vested in me. Ariel? Eric! You, you, you can talk! Eric, get away from her! Eric, I've been trying to tell you. Eric, you it was no! you the whole time. You're too late! You're too no. late! So long, lover boy! Ariel! Eric! <laughs> Say goodbye to your prince. Your pretty dress. Your satin pumps. It's not you I'm after. I'm a much bigger fish to fry. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Eric, this is too dangerous. We have to head back. No, I found her once. I'm not gonna... And I'm gonna find her again. You're right. Keep sailing. Uh, let go of me! This way. <laughs> You're too late. Get in there. <laughs> Boys, take care of her, please. <laughs> Ursula! Brother darling, you're right on cue. What have you done to my daughter? Nothing. She's done it all to herself, trading her voice away. And for what? Human heartbreak. Give Ariel back to me. <laughs> Not on your life. It so happens 
that she won't sign a contract. No. Even you a little heart above the eye. Is it binding goodness? Yes. Unbreakable unless Must. there is a little something we could try. Oh. Yes, perhaps we can arrange a sort of trade-off. What? Maybe swap your daughter so for say your own. What? Sign the scroll and set her free. Or else she comes with me to suffer through eternity alone. Poor little princess, drowning in her own sorrow for all eternity. Well, I'm waiting. It's not my soul you're after. It's my power. Which would you rather be? The king of the sea or the father to his little girl? Oh, Daddy! Daddy, no! No! Finally! The ocean belongs to me! The power of Poseidon has been once again made whole. All the power of the trident and the shell in my control. And now Jock shall reign forever over ocean, sea, and shore. Now see for yourself how banishment feels. You poor, unfortunate. Now, give me back my shell. Give me back my father. What? After all the lies he's told you? Lies? What lies? You told her the world above was hideous. And what was it instead? It was beautiful. Beautiful beyond compare. He'd say anything to turn you against the prince and his kind. Why, he's shameless. He'd even say they murdered your mother. It was you. All this time I was blaming them. And it was you. Uh, no, for more, no, I couldn't hurt a minute. You, no, you monster. No, you want to play games? Let's play. Don't fool with me, you little brat. Contract or not, I'll blast. Now I. I'm finishing this now! You're alive. I've been blaming humans this whole time in reversal. I never should have trusted you. I've missed you so much. Mom, Ariel. does love him, doesn't she, Sebastian? Well, it's like I always say, Your Majesty. The kids got to be free to lead their own lives. You always say that? Mm -hmm. Well, then I guess there's just one problem left. And what's that, sire? How much I'm going to miss her.
father and mother. Your Majesty. At last, I found someone who makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. But if I slip out to sea sometimes, I don't think she'll mind. Because she'll be right there next to me, keeping us both on course. With your permission, sire, I'd like to ask Ariel to be my wife. Ariel? <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> Come on, let's go get ready. This can't be happening. Grog after bedtime, a bad idea. So, when did we start liking humans? Oh, leave her alone, Aquata. I'm so happy for Ariel. I told you, Pisces and Leos are the perfect match! <laughs> I'm really gonna miss her, but I'm glad she's going to a better place. Don't oh, make it sound like she's gone forever. We'll still see her on the boat sometimes. Oh, just hope she can talk some sense into that Chef Louie guy. Make him try some vegetarian options, huh? Nearly two weddings in one day. Absolutely absurd. Nearly two. I'd argue they never, the first one was never really finished. I'm not so sure about that. How about we say a wedding and a half? Cash. Deal. Deal. I just hope there's no birds at this one. Indeed. Oh, well, you will get grow up so fast, this chicken. Oh, oh, I've never seen so many my people in my life. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> Yo! Huh? Wait, no, 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 don't go uh, uh, on him, folks, on the cake! If only you could stay and never say goodbye. If only I could make time. Stop, believe me, I would try. Superstitions, eh, Grim? So that's really the king of the sea, and she's his daughter? Does that upset you? Goodness, no, I'm just relieved she's royalty. <laughs> Starting life on 